where am I? Thank you very, uh, thank you very much, uh, Maurice. Uh, it's really a privilege and an honor for me uh, to be here at Vivatech and introduce uh, the pres President Macron. France has always been a seat of science, mathematics, as well as philosophy. So it's fitting that we have gathered here to convene on both these topics. Yesterday, I had the honor of joining the leaders from around the world across several industries for Tech for Good Summit. I want to thank President Macron, uh, Prime Minister Philippe, and Maurice for convening such an esteemed group uh, to discuss and work on solutions for some of the most pressing challenges that we face, the future of work, education, and diversity and equality. Together, we reflected on the incredible opportunity and the great responsibility we have in front of us. I mean, I'm optimistic about the future, but it also, this opportunity comes with responsibility. It was a French philosopher who once said, our responsibility is much greater than we might have supposed because it involves all humankind. He was talking about the broader importance of individual choices each one of us make, and I think those words apply to us today. A world being transformed by technology puts us as leaders of this industry in a seat of power. And we have the responsibility that the technology we build benefits everyone. This was the central focus of the Tech for Good Summit yesterday. And regarding the future of work, the Uber CEO, Dara Khosrowshahi, uh, represented the future of work discussion, emphasizing our responsibility to ensure that AI is used to augment human capability, not replace it. Ginny Rometty, CEO of IBM, led the discussion on education and provided structured thoughts on the responsibility of the industry as well as the government to ensure that we educate everyone in the skills that we will need most going forward and how technology itself can be used to educate us going forward. And the CEO of SAP, Bill McDermott, who led the topic on equality and diversity, spoke of the importance of diversity and inclusion, emphasizing the need for action, not just rhetoric. The technology industry must mirror the makeup of the world if our ambition is to serve everyone. And as we reflect on this incredible opportunity and responsibility ahead, we at Microsoft are hard at work on a variety of fronts. The first area is AI and innovation. AI is the most defining technology of our times. That's why Microsoft is announcing an AI innovation program to fuel the adoption of AI across the most important industries in France, healthcare, energy, transportation, financial services, and agriculture and food. We are adding AI specialists, including data scientists, architects, digital advisors, developers, to support new innovative AI projects in close partnership with both startups and established enterprises across the country. The second is AI skills. As we harness AI to propel industries and businesses forward, we know that the jobs of today will not be the jobs of tomorrow. We must equip today's workforce and the future generations with the skills for these new jobs, ensuring that economic opportunity created by AI is evenly distributed. And we must not limit ourselves to just formal computer science degree as a requirement to pursue a career going forward. Yesterday, I visited the Microsoft AI School right here in Paris. And it was launched earlier this year to provide immersive training in both hard and soft skills required in our industry going forward. It was incredible to meet the students from different backgrounds and walks of life with no prior technical experience, former teaching assistants, lawyers, even those who did not have the opportunity to graduate from high school, who within seven months will now be ready for new careers in AI and data science. Over the next three years, Microsoft is focused on training over 400,000 people in France to acquire the skills they need 
to seize the opportunities created by AI. And as we push the bounds on innovation and capture this opportunity, we must be responsible guardians of progress. We need to ask ourselves not only what computers can do, but what computers should do. The third area we will focus on is AI and ethics. In France, Microsoft is bringing together a diverse group of French organizations to ensure that AI positively impacts society and ethical principles govern this progress. This group will meet in the coming weeks to draft and share concrete recommendations which will be presented to all the policymakers. We are all fortunate to be participating in an industry that is growing at an accelerated pace that touches every aspect of our daily life. We must embrace this opportunity and, and be responsible for the future we build. Today, I feel especially fortunate to be here in France, a country that under President Macron is at the forefront of defining what this new era of technology will mean to our society, not just here, but globally. I'm confident that working together as an industry and with the French government, we can empower every person and every organization across France to achieve more and to ensure everyone in the society reaps the benefits of technological advancement. And now it's my great privilege and honor to welcome President Macron to share his vision for how we can accomplish this together. Thank you all very, very much.